unbelievable. Barely some hours after Biafran declaration, Joe Biden, the President of the United States, receives unexpected directive to consolidate in New Biafra. The declaration of Biafra as an independent state on November 29, 2024, has ignited international attention and renewed debates about the region. Quest for Autonomy Dr. Michael Rubin, a prominent United States foreign policy analyst, has added his voice to the discussion calling for the establishment of a United States consulate in Biafra's newly declared capital, a booby. In his recent article, Robin underscored the significance of the declaration, framing it as a pivotal movement, a moment in a struggle rooted in decades of violence, persecution, and systemic discrimination against the Igbo people and other communities in southeastern Nigeria. Robin Michael criticized the United States Department for his lack of presence in the region, urging that Washington has historically rallied on narratives from groups associated with violence against the Brafans, he urged the United States government to adopt a more proactive and independent approach to engaging with the situation. Now let's see to the historical context and the path to independence of the Biafrans. The declaration of the Biafran marks a resurgence of the region's long-standing aspiration for self-determination. This aspiration is deeply intertwined with the cultural, historical, and linguistic identity of the Igbo people who have faced what they described as systemic marginalization within Nigeria. The Biafran War of 1967 to 1970, which resulted in the deaths of millions, left a tragic legacy that continues to shape the region's political and social dynamics. According to Robbins, the establishment of Biafra's capital in Ebube symbolize a renewed commitment to the ideas and ideas of autonomy and self-governance. He emphasized that the call for the Nigerian military to withdraw from Biafra's territories reflects the deep-seated desire for recognition and respect for the region's unique identity. Now let's 
see the roles of the indigenous people of Biafra and the Nigerian government contest. So despite the historical defeat of Biafran forces during the civil war, the movement for independence remains vibrant. Groups like the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOP, under the leadership of Inamdi Kanu, have emerged as key advocate for Biafran autonomy. Why the indigenous people of Biafra, Hypo, has faced significant opposition from the Nigerian government, which has designated it a terrorist organization. Its influence continues to resonate among many Igbo people and their allies. The Nigerian government has adopted a dual approach to addressing the Biafran issue, combining military operation with diplomatic efforts. However, many in the region perceive this action as heavy handed and dismissive of their grievances. This perception has only threatened the resolve of those who support the Biafran independence. The Biafran independence movement has begun to attract international attention with human rights organizations and global observers weighing in on the situation. So Michael Robbins' advocacy for the United States consulate in Ebube is part of a broader call for the international community to engage more meaningfully with the Biafran cause. Supporters of the Biafran urge that independence is essential for preserving their cultural heritage and ensuring self-governance. They believe that the establishment of a separate state which will allow them to address long-standing issues of inequalities and marginalization. So guys, how do you see to this matter? It is true that the Biafran Declaration still have some challenges. So guys, as they begin to get recognition from international body, what are your views on this matter? Can you share your opinion on the comment section below? And also do well to subscribe to please channel. Thank you.